Welcome back to Student of the Gun Homeroom. I'm your favorite professor, Paul Markle, and I've got my Santa Claus hat on. Why? Because it's Christmas time. But because it is Christmas time, we're going to lighten things up a little bit this time. We're not going to talk about such heavy, serious subjects during this particular homeroom. Now, don't fear. I'll be back during the next one. We'll be talking about some serious stuff. But for this one, we're going to lighten it up. And what I want to do for you guys is a little routine that we just started doing called You Might Be a Student of the Gun. All right. Yep. Shout out to you, Mr. Foxworthy. All right. If your wife has ever walked in and found you dry firing in your pajamas, you might be a student of the gun. And I have my little cheat laptop down here. Uh, if the shelf above your clothes dryer has a display of freshly laundered cartridges, you might be a student of the gun. If you've ever searched under the seats of your minivan for a map and found a 30 round AR magazine, you might be a student of the gun. If you've ever reached into your pocket for change and had to sort through quarters, nickels, and 22 rimfire cartridges, you might be a student of the gun. If you've ever used the tip of a 545 Russian cartridge to reset the tiny little button on your wireless modem, you might be a student of the gun. If archaeologists dug up your backyard in 200 years and would swear that there was a, that was the scene of a major battle, you might be a student of the gun. If the coin tray on your dresser has more pistol cartridges than change, you might be a student of the gun. If you find a box of ammo that you forgot you had and it makes you smile all day long, you might be a student of the gun. If you have a box full of holsters for guns that you don't even own anymore, you might be a student of the gun. <laughs> Here we go. If your desk drawer contains a stapler, paper clips, ink pens, speed loaders, an SOG knife, a J-frame, and a PPK, you might be a student of the gun. Okay. Here, this one is for my muzzle-loading friends out there. If you've ever used the words nipple pick, ramrod, and butt plug in polite conversation, you just might be a student of the gun. Uh, also, finally, if you have ever tried to convince your pregnant wife that Winchester, Remington, and Colt are perfectly good names for a little boy, you just might be a student of the gun. All right, there you go. The student of the gun Christmas gift just to you guys, short and sweet. Merry Christmas. We'll be back next time with more serious student of the gun stuff.